what's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. In this episode we're taking a look at a RC brand that has never been featured on this channel. An RC brand that I didn't really even know existed until I came across this kit and that is ABC Hobby. Now um, I had my eye on this kit for quite some time. I'm talking like over a year. And you obviously know what it is already because you saw the thumbnail to this video. So you're probably saying, Ari, shut up and just open up the box so we see what you have. But I'll get to that in one second, I promise. But I've been stalking this kit for over a year. Uh, I came across this kit on a Japanese auction website that's been there, hasn't been there, reappeared, it's been on eBay, also disappeared, and finally it popped up again. And I said, you know what? I gotta have it. So after a year of stalking this kit, I pulled the trigger and just caved and bought it. So ABC Hobby is still around today. Uh, they primarily specialize in body shells. They have a couple cool bodies, very highly detailed. So you can go check that out and I'll post a link down below so you can check that out. Um, but I haven't really been able to find any other kits that they produced. I have come across a couple pan cars that they put out, um, but not a kit like this, which is why I think this is even more so special. Had to have it and just add it to my collection. That being the Lotus Super 7. So let's open this up, check out what we have, check out its key features, and do some unboxing. Now, as I was saying earlier, I don't really know much about ABC Hobby and what they actually put out in the past. I don't know how long they've been around. I know it's quite some time. All I can tell you is that they have some cool shells. If you wanted to do something custom, something highly detailed, so you can check that out. But um, whatever you know about this particular RC manufacturer, you got some extensive knowledge on it, or you remember it from back in the day, drop a comment below, share that knowledge with me, and we're just gonna get right into this because this kit is stunning. Wait till you see this. <laughs> you don't see one of these every day, right? No, 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 you don't. I did my research, not many online. There's a gentleman on um, one of the Tamiya websites who has a showcase for his Super 7 done in all green and it's beautiful and the comments on there are I've never seen one of these put together never seen one of these at all so you know like I said on the rarer side don't often see one so there you have it, the Lotus Super 7. Now, as for the car, I am not too familiar with the Lotus 7 or the Lotus Super 7. I do know that this particular model, though, was, I believe, manufactured in the early to mid-1970s. Regardless, it's a beautiful car in real life and a beautiful kit right here. So let's open this up. As for the box... Well, before I open it up, as for the box, in October 1957, the initial Model 7 was debuted in London, but again, that was the original one. This one was in the 1970s. And then, let's see, what do we have here? Does it say anything technical on here? A uh, ball diff, aluminum one-piece right motor mount, so we have an aluminum motor mount, realistic spider web rims. Hmm. All right, let's just get this open. <laughs> let's just open this up. All right. Nice. All right. We have your manual. Is it the manual? Oh, yeah, look at that. Really, 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 really a simple. I'm not going to say a simple manual, but not really a lot going on here. Right? Got one page. Two page. Does this count as two pages or one page? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and then 10. 10 steps, and then you're putting this together, and then you're basically doing the body. I have a feeling I'm gonna spend way more time on the body than actually putting the chassis together. So that's pretty interesting. Your decals, stickers, whatever. <laughs> not, not like you're working with a lot here. So there you go. A lot of bubble wrap. Throw that off to the side. And then here is your shell. Now, the great thing about this, and I can already tell already, is that the pictures when I was purchasing this do not do it justice because the shell had a slight tinge of yellow to it. And I was kind of worried because sometimes these old RC bodies can, I guess the plastic oxidized, turn yellowish depending on the conditions they're stored in. But this one, I guess that was just the lighting because I'm looking through right here. Uh, this doesn't have the same orangey yellowy hue that it had in the picture. So that's great. And the shell is in beautiful, beautiful condi condition. I'm not sure if there's a protective film on here, but regardless, this is, this is pretty cool. This, this is cool. This is gonna look amazing all painted up. And I, I can't wait to get to that eventually at some point, because we all know I have a million pro uh, million projects on this channel and well, I move at a snail's pace. So <laughs> put that there, check out the inside of the box. I'm gonna take this out and this is pretty, pretty neat that I take a shot of the inside it has top view of the car and then side view as well so that's pretty cool just heard something drop so oh there you go you have your foam wheels and your I should say these are your wheels these are the spider web wheels that definitely you're gonna have to spray and paint spray and paint paint and spray spray paint <laughs> oh my god, my my uh, video showmanship is way off today. <laughs> it's late at night and I'm delirious right now. <laughs> so yeah, you got to definitely paint these uh, silver or aluminum. And you know, that's a kind of a bummer that these are foam wheels because these are gonna shred apart, not like completely come apart. But when I run this, and yes, I'm gonna lightly run this, I'm gonna give it a little run. Um, I mean, these are soft still, so. Um, you know, you're not going to get all that black or well, you will get all that black dust on the car. Um, but I'll run it lightly. So put that over here, put that over here. So what do we have right over here? Well, let's see. Oh, this is all sealed. Well, there's definitely no turning back now from keeping this a new, in a new inbox kit, because if I open this up, I'm committed to building it because this isn't even like, Hey, I can take out the parts and I'll show you, put them back in the bag. This bag is sealed. So once we open this, no turning back. All right, here we go. E oh, it's gonna be built. <laughs> it's gonna be built. All right. I can never turn around and, and say, hey, this is a mint condition. Look, new in box because just cut it. All right, so here is your chassis plate. Pretty nifty antenna, more like a pointer probably for your rear ball diff to sit in there with your motor. Some double-sided stick tape, probably for your foam wheels to stick to your tires. All of your, I wanna say FRP plates, your, um... <laughs> oh my God, I really am delirious and tired. Um, your, pin, uh, your spur gear. Took me a while to think about that. Your body mounts. And well, heck, let's get right to it. Whoa, we got a steering wheel. And this is wild, are you ready? This is actually metal. Your The headlights on here and the steering wheel, unless it's just, hold on, I gotta open this up. Unless it's just the hardware in here that's so heavy. Holy smokes. Headlights are actually aluminum. Check that out. I got some weight to these things right here. 
Wow. And your steering wheel? That's metal too. <laughs> and the side exhaust? That's metal. These are... Talk about high quality, high grade, right? Your side exhaust, actual metal. That's not your plastic painted with chrome right there. That's some, that's some shit right there. Wow. All right, then you have your rear axle right over here. Blue nuts. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Got blue nuts. All right. That's pretty cool. Wow, all of your uh, hardware, your screws and nuts and everything are blue anodized. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that. Awesome. Some more hardware and then your servo saver. Wow, that was, that's really an unexpected treat right there. That the quality of this kit, I mean, the body's in better shape than I anticipated. And that you got real metal pieces. I can't even say this is aluminum because it's freaking heavy right over here. And then same thing with this. Wow. I mean, there's, there's weight to this. this. This is not aluminum. And then you got FRP chassis, which is nice. Blue anodized screws. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. This is a really, really nice kit right here. So that is a real, real treat. So chrome plated headlights and side exhaust muffler retains the scale appearance. So it is chrome plated, but it's definitely not aluminum. Like I said, it's heavy. And then let's see what else. Uh, as a scale real realism, spider web rims on high grip tires are included in the kit. And I don't know, kit number 65700, yeah. So I said, I don't, I don't really know too much about this kit. I couldn't really find that much information online, let alone any other kits put out by ABC Hobby. I don't know when this kit came out. I don't know how old this kit is. I want to assume it's vintage. Um, yeah, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more research. But as soon as it arrived here, I wanted to open it up and see the contents um, and just share it all with you. So I didn't really go into too much depth about the features other than, you know, just unboxing with the body parts and all that stuff. So when I build this, um, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I just wanted to share this with all of you because this is awesome. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can expect to see the build of the ABC hobby Lotus super seven. And even though it doesn't say Lotus on here, um, does talk about a little bit about the history of the seven. The Lotus Super 7 um, on here, even though it doesn't say it up here. So you can expect to see this on the channel in the future being built. And then, of course, maybe we'll do a different video just focusing on painting this up because there's going to be quite a few things going on with this because there, there are two different colors on here. Um, actually, three because you have to do the seats also. So there's going to be quite some masking going on here. So we'll probably do a couple of episodes on this. So awesome. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you all in my next. Take care now. Let's go, let's go.